right, so this is a tutorial on how to do Handbrake. So first you want to download the software program and you can see it here um, at handbrake.fr backslash downloads.php. And I have already downloaded that, so I'm going to minimize this. You can see it has the same, the, it has the same emblem right here, the same symbol as what you use. Now, I find that it works best to load the DVD in first. So I load the DVD in and then I go and open Handbrake. So you can double click or right click to open and it will take a few minutes and pop up. And then it looks for a source. And you can see here that uh, my DVD is showing up, End of the Spear. And that's the movie that is there. So I'm going to open that, and it will take a few minutes because it says that it's scanning a new source. So once you have that there, then you can get up and go do something else and wait for it to pop up. All right, so it's finished scanning the source, and now I need to name it. It has a file destination, and uh, we have it going into a folder called DVD Backups under iMovies. But here, I don't want it to be end underscore of underscore the spear. It does need to keep the .m4v, but after that, I can change it, and I am going to name it um, end of the spear just without all the underscores. End of the spear. And then I need to hit start. So I press start up there and it says one encode pending and pretty soon it'll come up with a, a kind of a, a timeline of how much it is um, doing. But once you hit that, you can walk away and give it the time that it needs, depending on the length of the video, depends on how long it will take. So that makes sense. Uh, now you can see it just popped up, Q scanning title one of six. That's the other thing that you need to watch out for up here. And I'll show you that um, there at the end, but basically right here it says title, and then each one has a variety of times. So depending on the DVD, it could have a whole list of things that are one minute, two minute, things like that, that aren't really actually the movie. It might be previews or bonus material, things like that. But it will only do one title at a time. I personally am not interested in having the bonus material. Um, for most of my movies, I'm just interested in the actual movie. So, um, Again, it'll, it'll take a while, but you know that it's working, and you just walk away and let it do its job. And this is what you're waiting for. You're waiting for that little dialog box to pop up that says, put down that cocktail, your handbrake cue is done. So once that happens, you can click OK. And you're done. You can either go on to the next one or start over and then you can go to the place that you have yours saved and you'll find it in there. We have ours again under movies um, and you can see that there under movies. Click on that and then we have it under DVD backups. So again, you can name it wherever you want. If you want it um, on your desktop or anywhere else, um, but we can go ahead and eject that out. And now our movie that we purchased is um, available to be used in a different format. Um, again, I'm not advocating this to get movies and um, you know just change change them that you don't own but I am advocating being able to take your movie and um, just use it in a different format uh, that you have already paid for and it's just as simple as that.